Okay, so what is the first part of our warm up? Who knows? If you do is know, then unmute. Is it mobility? Not mobility. Mobility is seconds, but what we've got to do before we do our mobility? Is it raise our pulse? It is. Yes, Oliver. Raise our pulse. We've got to get our heart rates up, raise our pulse, get that blood flowing. Then mobility. Who can remember the, the third bit? Begins with an A. Activation. Activation. Yes, Ivy. And what is the last one? Begins with P. Priming. Priming. Yeah. So we're going to go through our warm up. All right. Um, so to start with, let's get everybody on your feet. Okay, and what we are going to do is, right, so everybody on your feet, let me just bring my screen up, there we go, right, got a little bit of a, it's going to be a little bit of an interesting challenge to start with, all right, it's going to involve some thinking and it's going to involve some coordination as well, so we'll see how good you are. I was practicing this before and it's a little bit tricky as well, but uh, we'll give it a go, all right, so we're going to start off with with seven star jumps but we're going to do them slightly different to normal it's not just going to be a normal star jump all right so we'll do it slowly to start with and let's see if we can work it out all right now the thing to watch for is going to be your legs all right so to start with we're going to go star jump where we go apart together together apart Together, together, apart. All right? So if you watch, it's the legs that are either going apart or together. The arms are always doing up or down, okay? So let's try it again, all right? So I'll start here. So we're going apart, together, together, apart, together, together, apart. All right? So let's speed it up a little bit, all right? So, apart, together, together, apart, together, together, apart. All right, a little bit faster, all right? Let's see if we can do it again. Okay, apart, together, together, apart, together, together, apart. Okay, one more time. Let's see if we can speed it up even more. Are we ready? Okay. Apart, together, together, apart, together, together, apart. Okay, very good. Right, next one we're going to do. All right, again, it's going to involve some thinking and some coordination. All right, so we've got six points. All right, watch this. So we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, clap. And then we're going to go back down again. One, two, three, four, five, six, clap. All right. So let's do it slowly to start with. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five, up, oh, five, six, clap. And then back down. One, two, three, four, five, six, clap. Right. That should be pretty easy. So if we manage to do that, let's do it at the bounce. Okay. So, are we ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, clap. One, two, three, four, five, six, clap. And again, back up a little bit faster this time. One, two, three, four, five, six, clap. One, two, three, four, five, six, clap. Are we getting there? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, clap. One, two, three, four, five, six, clap. Okay, that should be pretty easy. All right, now we're going to go side to side bounces and do it. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, clap. 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 Okay, forwards and back this time. Are we ready? One, two, three, four. Five, six, clap. One, two, three, four, five, six, clap. A little bit faster. One, two, three, four, five, six, clap. One, two, three, four, five, six, clap. Good. 
Right, this is the hardest one, okay? You're gonna go star jump, or half a star jump, and exactly the same thing. Are we ready? Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, clap. 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 Woo! Right, I'm already feeling uh, like my heart rate's up. Hopefully you guys are as well. Give me a thumbs up if your heart rate's up. Good, right. Let me just shut my blinds, make it a little bit less bright. Okay, so we're gonna go through our mobility. Now to start with, all right, we're gonna start with shoulders. So we're always going upper body down to lower body. All right, now to start with, let's get practicing those streamlines, all right? So hands on top of each other, remember when we streamline. What we're gonna do, start flat on our backs, and we're gonna slide our hands up the floor, all the way up, keeping our elbows and hands on the floor, and then going into a nice tight streamline. And then back down, into a W position, keeping your hands on the floor, and then sliding them back up. Now, when we do this, I want us to make sure that backs are straight, flat on the floor. I don't want to see any arching of your back as you're going up. Try and keep your belly sucked in and your lower back flat on the floor. And then you're going from there up, sliding your hands up the floor and then into a nice, tight, streamlined position. Okay? So let's go. Four more of them, if you've started already, great. Okay, nice and slowly. One. Two. Feel that stretch as you extend up into streamline. I can't reach out with my legs, but if you can, make sure you're doing it in a full extended streamline. And that your feet are extended as well. One more, keep your hands flat on the floor. And then into streamline, good. Right, next shoulder one. So this one is going to be an external rotation. We're gonna do it again flat on the floor. This time you're gonna keep your elbows at sh shoulder level and you're going to come forwards and then back up and just extend. So we're gonna be flat on the floor. All right, so again, Watch from this side. All right, so from there, you're going to go all the way back and then as far forwards as you can. All right, so let's go 10 of these in time with me. So one, two, three, keep your elbows in line with your shoulders, three, and then go as far forwards as your mobility allows. So some of you might be able to get all the way to the floor. That's fine. If you can't, go as far as you can, and then back. Okay, five. Make sure that your back stays flat on the floor, your shoulders stay flat on the floor. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and ten. There we go. Very good. Right. Shoulders hopefully nice and warmed up. We're now going to go on to our back and our lats. All right. So to start with, we're going to go into a lat stretch. All right. Now, those that have done any yoga or Pilates before, you'll know what this is. This is a child's pose position. All right. And what we're going to do is come up onto all fours, into the tabletop, and then back down and stretch through your lats, which is the muscle here at the side of your back, okay? So starting in a child's pose position, and then coming up into tabletop, and then going back down, all right? Sitting back on your heels, and just going through that, okay? So, Five of those in total. Mm 
You should be feeling the stretch through the side under, underneath your armpits. Good, those that have been doing these sessions regularly now, you should know quite a few of these mobility exercises. Hopefully you've been practicing them as well, not just on these sessions. All right, on the sessions on the, uh, the Wednesday and the, the Monday when we've got some of the uh, mobility stuff, these are the exercises you could be practicing. All right, so next one is gonna be happy cat, sad cat. All right, so you're gonna curl up and then curl back round, lifting your chin, arching your back, and as much range as you can, trying to extend every single part of your back, and then back down. Okay, five of these. Make sure they're slow and controlled. Look at how slow I'm doing them. Okay, great. And last one. Again, those that are here on Tuesday, we did a lot of work on rotation. So this was one of the exercises we did to help us mobilize our rotation. So you're going to start off in a tabletop position and you're going to thread underneath. Going as far as you can. And then following that hand as high as you can. And then back under. So we're going to go five on each side. Okay. So I'm on number two now. Again, do it slowly, extend, get as much range as you can. Number four. You should feel that stretch on both sides. Okay, swap it over. One, two, three, four, and five. Oh, brilliant. Right, so we're now on to our legs, okay? So we have got a couple of leg exercises coming up in the main set, all right? To start with, we're gonna get our hamstrings um, mobile. All right, so hamstrings are this muscle that run from your knee up to your bum, all right, in the back. All right, so we're gonna start off flat on our backs again. You're going to hinge, holding underneath your knee, so don't hold your knee, hold just underneath it, and all you're gonna do is extend up, and then go back down again. All right, so let's go 10 on each leg. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, see if you can increase that range through the 10, all right? Your idea is that you're trying to get as straight as you can. Also, make sure you're pointing your toes towards you, all right? So not away, point them towards you when you do it, all right? So when you come up, your toes should be basically pointing towards your head. Those that have been doing a lot of running might be feeling a little tight through these. All right, it's so important that you do mobilize and stretch well. All right, the difference before you're doing any exercise is that all of these stretches are dynamic, so that you're always moving through the stretch, okay? Right, next one is going to be your hips. All right, so we're going to do a lunge and we're going to work on your hip flexors all right so hands on the front of your leg on top of your leg here and then you're just going to stretch through keep
keeping your back straight and then back again. All right, let's go through. Again, those that were here the other day, if you're not really feeling that, you might want to elevate your back foot. All right, and then just stretch through. So you should be feeling it here at the top of your leg going into your hip. Let's we'll do a few on each side. Change legs. You never hold in the movement, it's always just a pulse forwards and then back. Right, good. So just before, uh, just give me one second, I'm just gonna shut my kitchen door. My washing machine sounds like it's about to take off. So we've done the mobility, now we're gonna do the activation. All right, so there are two, two exercises that we're gonna do for the activation. All right, now the first one, we're gonna start off, I'm gonna use these again because my wrists aren't great, but you guys can do it in a normal press up position. All right, now there are two ways you can do this. All right, you can either do it in a tabletop position. All right, and all you're going to do from here is go down, but without bending your elbows. So you're basically going to lower down from your shoulders and then push back up from your shoulders. So we're activating this part of our back, the top of our back in our trapezius. We're activating that area, all right? So we're gonna go down, sink down, and then push up. Now, if you do find that quite easy, you can do it in a press-up position, all right? Again, we're not doing a press-up. All you're doing is lowering down and then pressing back up. So your elbows stay straight. All you're moving is through your shoulders. You should feel a little pinch as you go down and then extend right up as you go up. Now it's up to you, you don't have to do it in a press up position, all right, but you don't need to do too many of them, maybe around five of them in total, all right? So let me just have a look at your technique while you're doing it. Oh, we're up to 21 now, that's great. Okay, let's have a quick look. You wanna make sure that your elbows are straight when you're doing it. Only top of your back that's moving. Good. Excellent. All right, good stuff. So last one that we're gonna do, all right, this time we're gonna be stood up. Right, probably one of the most important exercises we can learn how to do, we've done it before, we're going to do a hip hinge, where we go down and hinge from our hip, and we keep our back straight. Now the idea is that you go down, and you should look like a right angle. I'm just trying to have a look and see if I've got anything that looks like a right angle. I don't think I have. But you should look like a right angle as you go down. What we don't want to see is any curl in your back. You've got to keep your shoulders back, You've got to make sure your chest is out. And to start with, you might need to just bend your knees if you've got tight hamstrings. To start with, you're going to stick out your bum, and then you're going to lower down, keeping your back as flat as you can. All right, and the idea is, if you have a look in this position here, that you should be pretty much at a right angle. What I don't want to see is any of this. All right, there should be no curved back, so you've got to go the opposite way. So like you're doing the happy cat, sad cat, all right, the sad cat is like that, you need to be like that, okay? So extend your back, make it as long as you can, all right? So once we're in that position, we're then going to go into five streamlines, holding that same flat back, keeping it as straight as we can, and going five streamlined shoots, okay? 
Right, I want to have a quick look. So let's start together. All right, I want to have a look at how everyone does it. Maybe turn sideways on so I can see if your back is flat. All right, so turn sideways onto the camera. Okay, let's have a look. Now, if you're finding that your back is curling, then you need to bend your knees slightly. You might be just a little bit tight through your hamstrings. Okay, so just a very slight bend. I can see a lot of curved backs there. Naomi, that's very good. Oliver, that's a little curved. You've got to get your chest down a bit more. That's good, Will. Okay. Good. Parents at home, if you've got parents there, maybe get them to check your backs and make sure that they're not curved. All right. It's a good one to do with your parents if they are there or if you've got any brothers or sisters and just get them to have a look at how your back is. All right. The best way to do it is to start up standing up straight. All right. And put your hand on your lower back. And the moment you feel it curving the wrong way, you've got to straighten it out. Okay. Right, something to practice. You do need good hamstring flexibility to do that one. Okay, all right. What are we up to? So we're going to go into the main set now. All right. So it's similar to what we did last week. Similar sort of exercises. All right. I'm going to run through them to start with. You can do them um, after I've just had a quick uh, talk about the technique, and then we're going to run through it one more time after that as a full set. So. All your equipment you need, well, you don't really need anything other than your mat. Make sure you've got your drinks bottles as well so you can have a quick drink now. Right. First one is going to be push-ups. So there are three different types of push-up. All right, so the first one we can either do, we can do it in our tabletop position. And all you're doing is lowering yourself down, lowering your chin and your nose down to the floor and then pushing back up. So the second variation is that you bring your knees a little bit further out. All right, making sure that your back stays flat as you go down. And you're going to go down again, nose to the floor, and then push up. And then the third variation is on your feet. All right, pushing down and then back up. Making sure when you go up, the whole of your body is coming up at the same time. So when you do it, if you're doing it on a full extension, if you can't press up and the whole of your body's coming up at the same time, then you need to make sure you step back a level. Okay, so don't worry about advancing it too quickly. Go to your level. So we're going to go 10 push-ups to start with. All right, I'm going to have a watch. Are you ready? Okay, 10 push-ups, off you go. Good. Good. Remember to go to your level. The idea is you're trying to get as close to the floor as you can before you push back up. You should have your nose just off the floor. Good. Excellent. Right. I think most of you are pretty much done there. Okay, so the next one, we've done upper body. We're now going to do lower body. So we're going to go what's called a split squat, all right? Similar to a lunge, but all you're doing is split a set going down with your back leg, all right? Now, we did this last week. So technique wasn't great last week. So again, parents, you could watch the technique. Now, the idea is that you're starting in this split position, all right? Feet should be in line with your hips, all right? Pointing forwards. I will put your hands on your hips just to keep them in line. And then all you're doing is lowering your back knee down to the floor and then back up. And if you watch my front knee, my front knee pretty much stays in line with the bottom part of my leg. What I don't want to see is anyone coming forwards like this. This is where you get injuries. All right, so you've got to keep your foot, your knee in line with your heel. And all you're doing is pressing down and then straight back up. And it should be a nice straight line from your hip all the way up your back, okay? So we're gonna go 10 controlled ones on each side. Again, let's have a look. 
I'll watch your technique in this round, and then the second round we'll do together. All right, make sure that front knee stays in line with your heel. Ava, just bring your legs out a, a little bit wider. That's better. So watch your front knee. Is it staying in line with your heel? Is your back straight or are you bending forward? Finn, you look like you're leaning all the way forwards there. Make sure that back is straight, Finn. Okay, 10 on each leg. So put your hands on your hips. That helps you stabilize your hips. Keep an eye on that back. Don't let it lean forwards. Don't be resting on your legs either. Now, if you're struggling to get all the way down to the floor, just do half of it. You don't need to go all the way down. All right, just go as far as your strength and flexibility allows. Still seeing some bent over backs, all right? Make sure that you're looking forwards. If you're looking forwards, that'll help keep your back straight. If you're looking down, your back will want to curve down. All right, so backs, heads forward, shoulders back, chest up, that's better, Elliot. That's it. Good. Right, next one is going to be core. So we've done upper body, lower body. Now we're going to do a core one. All right, so this one is going to be our Supermans. All right, now we've done this before, all right? Now you can either go one leg or you can go leg and arm, all right? But you're gonna start off in a tabletop position and you're going to just extend with your arm forwards and your opposite leg backwards. And the idea is that you're keeping everything in a nice straight line. Okay, we're gonna hold it there. I'm gonna hold it for 10 seconds. And change. So 10 on one side and 10 on the other. Making sure your hips are stable, your hips are level, your head's looking straight down. Backs should be straight when you're doing this. All right, we don't want to see any curves again. All right, make sure that back is straight. You've got a nice straight long line from the tips of your fingers down to your feet. Okay. Good. Excellent. Right. Okay. So that's the Supermans. All right. Now we're going to go another 10 seconds each. All right. I'm going to watch. Are we ready? So everyone together. So choose which side you go. All right. I'm going to count down. Okay. Three, two, one. Off you go. One, two. Heads down. Three. Four, get them arms in line with your shoulder. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Uh, for those that are not, you should be going opposite arm and opposite leg. All right, so if it's right arm, it should be left leg. Okay, are we ready? Chain sides. Three, two, one, off you go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, good. Okay, right, we're gonna go back up to upper body. All right, this time it's going to be our YTW shape that we did last week. So for those that didn't see this, all right, it is very simple. You're gonna start off leg flat on the floor. All right, we're gonna be working again, shoulders and the top of our back here, all right, which is why we warmed it up before. All right, so we're going to start off, thumbs pointing upwards, all right, in a Y position, and you're going to just lift up and hold that position. I'm going to hold it for five seconds, and then back down. Then we're going to go out into a T, so a T position, this time hands flat, you're going to lift up, hold it for five, and then back down. And then we're going to go into a W position. So elbows bent, hands at your side. 
And you're going to come up, pinch your shoulder blades together, hold it for five, two, one, and then down. Right. So five seconds. Let's have a look. All right. You guys are going to do this now. Are we ready? So wide position to start. I want heads flat on the floor. I might not be able to see you on this, but we'll give it a go. Heads flat down on the floor. Okay. You're lifting your shoulders up and your hands off the floor. Okay. Shoulders up first. Wide position. Off you go. One, two, three, four, five, and down. Good. Okay. T position. Arms to your side. Okay. Heads down. Ready. One. Two, three, four, and five. Good, back down. Right, W position. So hands at your side this time, elbows bent. All right, make sure you're lifting up. Pinch your shoulder blades together. Are we ready? One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Um, make sure. Heads are on the floor when we do this, guys. Some of you are lifting your heads up there and keep your head flat, otherwise you're working a different part of your back. Okay, so lower body again, all right? This time, all right, we're going to focus on our glutes a little bit more. So we're gonna go into what's called a hip bridge. How do I change this? There we go. So I'm sure you've done this before. All right, so hands on the floor, knees bent, and all you're going to do is raise up, and you're going to hold that position. All right, now, if you're finding that quite easy, bring your toes up, so you're just resting on your heels, and you're gonna hold that. You should feel it working slightly, the back of your legs and your glutes here. All right, and you're just gonna hold that for a count of 10, okay? So, are we ready? All right, all together, let's find that position. Back's flat on the floor, and you're lifting your hips so they're in line with the rest of your knees. Okay, off you go. Okay, nice slow count of 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, down. Right, and final one, back to core again. So while we're still in that position, all right, we're going to go what's called a frog sit up. All right, so you're gonna be on your backs, but this time you're going to bring your knees out wide. Your hands are going to slide up the side of your leg, up to there, up to your knee, and then back down again. All right, so watch from the side. All right, so knees, out wide, you're going to slide your hands up your knees, up your legs, up to your knees, up to the top, and then back down again. And whenever we do a sit up, make sure that you start with your chin first. Your chin has got to curl up first, so you lift your head up, and then you sit up. What a lot of people try and do is keep their head in line, and they end up getting a sore neck. All right, so start with your chin first, up we go and then back down. Okay, so 10, uh, I'll do these with you this time, all right? 10 in time with me, are we ready? One, two, three, four, notice how slow they are, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Okay, right. So that is our circuit. We're gonna go through one more time. There are six exercises, all right? And we're going to do them a little bit quicker so there won't be as much rest in between this time. All right, so 30 seconds, grab a drink. Now again, make sure that anything that you do, you go into your level, don't overdo it. Don't push too hard, okay? So we've got push-ups to start with, 10 in total. 
If you want to go more than 10, maybe aim for 12, that's fine. If you want to do slightly less, that's totally fine. Just go to your level. All right, so we're going to start in 10 seconds. All right, press ups to start with. Make sure the whole of your back goes down at the same time and goes up at the same time. Ready? Off you go. You do them in your time now. That's 10. You know what? I might do two more. I might get 12 in. 11. And 12. There we go. Okay. Next one is going to be the split squats. So we need to be up on our feet. Okay, parents, maybe watch technique again of this. You've got your parents there. All right, make sure you're getting a wide enough split. Okay, we're going in five, hands on hips. Remember, look forwards, chest up, shoulders back. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good. Change legs. <clears throat> Are we ready? One, Oop. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Good. Okay, we're on to our core, which is going to be Superman's. Okay. So we've got another 10 seconds rest. Now I want to see nice straight lines on this, starting in that tabletop position, back flat. Okay, are we ready? We're going to hold each position for 10. Okay, ready? Here we go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And change. Up we go. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. Right, we're now back onto lower body. Okay, sh sh sorry, upper body, sorry, not lower body, upper body. So we're on to the YTW. So hands in a Y position. Don't go too wide to start with. Okay. Five seconds. We ready? Head down, make sure your head, your forehead is flat on the floor. Okay. And we're going up for five. We ready? One, two, three, four, five, and down. Down to a Y, a T position. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five. And down, and now into a W. Okay, up we go. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Now, if you're finding them quite easy, then hold it for a little bit longer on the next one, on the next time you do it. Okay, hip bridge. All right, so leg flat on the floor. Okay, we're just going to lift our hips up. Again, if you find it quite easy doing 10 seconds, maybe add on a little bit more. Are we ready? Up we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 10. Keep those hips up if you need to. Okay, and then we've got one more, which is core. So we're going to go into this position. All right, hands at the side. All right, you're going to slide up your legs and then over the top of your knees. All right, so another five seconds. We're going around between 15 and 20 seconds rest on each one of these. Okay, you ready? Off we go. Ten in total. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and on ten, we're going to hold it at the top, hold it, keep holding it, keep holding it. Keep those shoulders up. Come on, keep holding it. And down. Very good. Right, that's twice through. If you want to go through it one more time on your own, you're a well, more than welcome to do that, all right? We're not doing massive amount of reps yet because it's more important we get the technique right, all right? Once we start getting that technique right, we'll start to build up the reps and the amount of work we do, all right? Uh, last thing from me, um, well, two last things. So first one is I want to see all of you doing this week's challenge. All right. This week's challenge is dead simple. There are two, actually. Number one is that you've got to make your bed every day. All right. I've, I don't know if you've seen the video, but it's a really inspirational video that I sent out. All right. It's about making your bed and the importance of getting up and starting your day properly. The second one is to do a very short video about what you appreciate, all right? What you've learned during this time to really appreciate things that you perhaps took for granted before, you know? Um, it could be you just really appreciate the fact that you get to go swimming or seeing your mates or whatever it could be, but something that you appreciate, and I want you to do a 10 second video, all right? Just tell us your name to start with and then just do uh, I've, you know, it just has to be one or two things that you've really missed or really appreciated during this time. All right. And show, you know, show us that you don't just take things for granted, that you do really appreciate, you know, the small things in life that you perhaps aren't getting the opportunity to do. All right. So that's the first thing, the challenge. The second thing is tomorrow night, we're doing a quiz. We're doing a family quiz. All right. And I want to see every single one of you doing it. All right, it's going to be quite good fun. Um, Laura TT has done the quiz. All right, there's lots of questions, questions about swimming, questions about different swimming pools, there's questions about general knowledge, uh, all sorts of stuff in there. All right, but get the whole of your family. All right, it's a bit of fun. All right, there's no prizes. It's just about pride of uh, seeing how many questions you can answer. All right, but it'll be a bit of fun, but that's going to be tomorrow night at 7.30. All right, it shouldn't last more than an hour. All right, so it shouldn't be too long and you should be finished by 8.30, all right? So see if you can get your parents to join, join in and we'll have uh, a good time tomorrow night, okay? Right, thanks a lot, guys, and I'll see you hopefully tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.